Hi everybody, this is Larry again. You guys haven't seen me in a while. I haven't really made any videos or uploaded anything because I was busy this summer building or working on the addition uh, to my house, which would house my uh, new train room. And uh, for the first time since my wife and I moved out of our condo, I now started to have a layout again. I'll give you a quick tour starting now. So over here, We've got uh, the first Helix I've ever built. So far, so good. I'm working on the second level of it right now. You can see there's a steam engine setting down there that's I've been using to test with a weird consist of passenger cars and an intermodal car. Up above, this will be the eventual staging area. I'll just lift that up so you guys can see that. It's about six feet in the air. Um, and that'll continue down the wall, and I might go around the corner and uh, on over to where the sliding glass door is. And then uh, the main level, which will come out on a peninsula that's sitting, will come out about where that module is and towards us a little bit. And then, of course, you know, down and uh, over into the helix, and then down from the helix and out towards the uh, lower level here. And uh, let me just see if I can see what I'm doing when I'm taking this picture. Anyway, and of course this will extend around and come out on the peninsula as well. So just a quick uh, introduction to the new South Olympic Branch version two that I'm working on in HO scale. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is uh, Burlington Northern Era stretched, uh, Grays Harbor County reimagined from 1970 to 1999. Have a happy new year to everybody. I know it's a little bit uh, late to be wishing everybody a happy new year, but I guess I don't feel like it's a little too late for this. Um, and we'll see you soon. Okay, ready to go for a spin? Of course it did. Okay. Here we go. Wish us luck. I'm going to cut this turn out. Stroke on that last bit. Otherwise, you're set. And you're struggling to push it back and forth. And there's, there's one of four. Now, doing this process where you take this little, you can see that blade, and uh, you feed it through the turnout in between these two PC board ties, and then tighten it together and make that cut. 
it's kind of a pain, but um, it's the most satisfactory way that I've found of doing it. And uh, I have used a Dremel on the turnout and I've sent pieces of the turnout flying doing that or scored one of the outside rails too. So I prefer to do it this way, even though I, like I said, I'm not exactly uh, fond of it. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna fit nicely in place with the frog already wired through the base of the yard. And uh, I find for myself, I recently discovered anyway, that using a countersink bit gives me a little bit of a concave uh, for the throw bar wire that'll be attached to the tortoise. And I also use one underneath the frog here. Um, and basically that allows a little bit more room for my wire to wiggle around underneath the frog. I think that seems to be working pretty well for me so far. I imagine most of you are familiar with this, but the tortoise machines come with a template that uh, allows you to know where to drill the mounting holes based on uh, the actual footprint of the thing. I've got that one taped to the bottom of the layout and I'll be drilling some holes for screws. The tortoise switch machine comes with this wire that's on the right here. And for a fast tracks turnout, it's not quite stiff enough. So I've got an 032 uh, wire right here. And uh, that's a piano wire that's just thick enough. Now, then what I have to do is drill out the little hole. It's hard to see right there on the uh, switch machine so that the throw bar can fit in there. I do that with my um, one of my pin vices, which seems to have taken a taken flight here. This particular tortoise looks a little worse for wear, but I bought a bunch of used ones from a guy. Got a heck of a discount on it, but anyway, um, and so it doesn't look very pretty, but it does work. I've been testing them as I go along. Okay, I'm starting the test on the second line for the helix. And I'm going to go ahead and stop it because the track doesn't go all the way down yet anyway. But I just soldered some feeders on there too, so I wanted to test that.
And right now it's all working. Finally get to run through all the turnouts of the yard, at least on the east end of it anyway. And I added a little more track. Thanks for watching the video as it skips through from about mid-January to mid-February 2021.